What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a step-by-step -step guide to mastering the new setup of keyframing panel in Filmora 14. This is Filmora Mastering, and if you think I'm producing better content, go ahead and subscribe. The keyframing panel refers to a certain panel in Filmora that you use to make your keyframes smooth. So the other expression for that is the keyframing graph, or the graph panel, so which is the area that you use to make the difference between this and this, and the keyframing panel is where all those things happen. So having this video right here before me, I would like to assume at this point that almost every one of you knows how to add keyframes, basically adding zooms. But for the benefit of those who may not have that idea, if you for you to add a keyframe, just have to press this icon right here on your toolbar. If you don't have it on your toolbar, just make sure that you go right here on the toolbar setting here, then make sure that you drag a keyframing icon into the toolbar so that you can use it every time you are doing your projects. This is the easiest way to add a keyframe to your video. And then if you want to make a zoom, all right, right here on the transform tab, you can see after some frame, we can increase the scale like in this way, and as you can see, a zoom has been created. If you play from the face frame right now, you can see that there is a zoom that has been created because of these two keyframes. So that's basically it, how to add keyframes. I'm just laying a background for the benefit of someone who might not have the real idea of how to go about this. Now, as you can see right here, that our zoom is just as dry as nobody will ever want this. All right. So you have to write, select your video right in the timeline, and then you are going to see this option right here, which is show the keyframe animation. You can just use this little icon over here on the video that you will be working your keyframes on. If you select this little icon right here, you are going to open the keyframing panel in Filmora 14. This is the style only in Filmora 14. But the main idea to master this game, my dears, is to make sure that you've affected all of these keyframes. You will see this little icon right here, which is a graph activation. All right. Now, once you select it over here, going to see down here under the keyframes, there is another layer that has been opened up whereby we have access to select these keyframes. Now, if I select this first keyframe right here, you will find that there are options for me here. The linear curve, the curve, the continuous curve, the freeze, the ease in and the ease out. All right. And generally, we always use the ease in on the first keyframes. All right. So like in this case, I can just use the ease in and then select the last keyframe and then do the ease out. Let's just give a play on what we have just done here, right? But wait, a lot of people have got only this information yet. They need something more. Let's move on to the second video that I've shown you earlier, all right? And show you how do we approach that kind of a video in a very completely different way. Quick, I add again another keyframe right here and then add the faderless keyframe as I zoom. And this time around, as you can see, I want to zoom towards my subject. That means I have to move this around like in this way. All right. And then not just that, but I like to raise it up as well, like in this case. All right. As you can see right here. So if I play for you, my zoom is not just going directly on the sender, but it's going on towards the left side because I am looking for the subject is the thing that I really want to get attention off. All right. I go to the keyframing panel for this one. Now, the most important thing, you must know that you should affect all of these keyframes that you are seeing right here with your keyframe curves, which means all of these keyframes should be affected with the keyframing curves graphs. And the only way for you to do that is to make sure that each pair of these keyframes should show right down here so that you can affect them. And as you can see right now in the moment, these keyframes that you are seeing here are not representing all of these, but they are only representing the scale X as it is shown right here. So that means if you want to affect other keyframes, like the position X and the position Y, you must make sure that they show up down in here. And the only way to do that is to select them, if I select the X position, like in this way, 
They start showing up down here in the area of the graph caves. Okay. And then after that, I can select them and then ease it in the first keyframe and then ease out the last keyframe. The same thing applies again on another type of keyframe, which is the keyframes of the position Y. So when I select again, right here, the pair of keyframes that represent the position Y are going to show up down right now and as you can see them right here. And now, I can try to select the first one and then ease in and then the last one again ease out. So if you just go on by default and then ease in the first keyframe and then ease out the last keyframe, you have just affected only the scale of that animation, which result in this kind of an animation. Why? Because you didn't affect the position X keyframes and the position Y keyframes. Let me show you one more trick on this. All right, so right here. Let me just delete this keyframe so that I show you one more killer trick for you to have all this done without messing around your timeline, without even making all this big thing every single time that you want to ease in and ease out your keyframes. All right, right quick. I add again another keyframe and then repeat the zoom real fast so that I can show you this example right here. All right. So this is what we have right now, and now as you can see that we have these two keyframes down here in our timeline. You can right select the keyframe, and then use this option right here, which is the Bezier curve, and then just after that, you can use one of these options right here. Like as we were doing it in the previous examples, we were using the ease in on the first keyframes. And guess what? My dear friend, by doing this, you have all of the keyframes the position keyframes, the position Y keyframes, the position X keyframes, the scale Y keyframes, and the scale X keyframes. They are all going to be affected with this single click without clicking a lot more things. Okay, just by selecting this option. You can minimize these options right here and then unselect the graph thing here and then repeat the same procedure on the second keyframe and then this time around ease out and then again minimize it like this. And by doing that, you affect all the keyframes in one and a single click. Until I see you in the next episode. Peace. Bright. Editing now feels so light